Star Fox, an absolute classic on the SNES. As soon as I knew I wanted to do some reviews, I knew I couldn't leave this gem out for the simple fact that this is the first game I ever played. Yeah, my first ever game. I was just 3 years old at the time when I picked up Star Fox or Star Wing in Europe. I managed to beat the first route and I loved the game so much that I couldn't put it down. It was so fun to play and had tons of replayability, but before we get into all that, let's talk about the story. The story for Star Wing is pretty surface level. You're the director of a ship called the R Wing, playing as Fox McCloud, with the help of three other members Falco, Lombardi, Pepier, and Fluffy Toad. Your main goal is to navigate through the Lilac system, make it through each level to get to Venom, to defeat Andros, who wants to take over the Lilac system. What he has planned is something we cannot allow, so we have to shoot our way through his army to get to him. Star Fox is a rail shooter, meaning you automatically accelerate forward, but you can move in any other direction to avoid enemy blasters and objects. You can shoot lasers, use bombers, and do barrel rolls. Well, actually it's called an alien roll, to make your way through each level. The levels also have different bosses from the attack carrier, Professor Anger, Atomic Base, and so on. Beat them, and you advance to the next level. You also have two secret levels, but how you get to them is a mystery in itself. As soon as you boot up Starwing, you hear the menacing music with the attack carrier coming down, letting you know that you're about to be in a war. You have three routes to choose from, level 1, level 2, and level 3. Level 1 is the easiest, level 2 is the standard difficulty, and level 3 being the biggest challenge. Each have different planets and different bosses. The music fits each level and changes when the boss comes in, sometimes a build up when you enter a base. I just love them. Overall, Star Wing as a game is one of my favourites. Not only are the graphics brilliant thanks to the Super FX chip, but the design and feel of the levels are pretty good, especially for its time. Controls are sweet, simple and effective. Completing the route makes you feel proud and the harder it gets, the better it feels. However, what I will say is that while Star Wing is a gr it's great for its time, it can be a little hard to play nowadays with how the game looks. I guess it's more if you were born or grew up when this game first came out, you'll be fine, but it may not have aged as well as the other games on the SNES. Overall, I love it. Give it a try and see how you fly with this one.